Yeah, okay. Okay, so first thing is, bro, if possible, you please go on mute and uh, I think there is some uh, uh, background noise. So, yeah, uh, whenever I ask for a doubt, no, I mean, then you can unmute. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay, so how to schedule maintenance plans in a background? See, generally, what we will do in IP10. We, you also know in IP10 what we will do. We will schedule a CHE DUL schedule a maintenance plan. Correct. In IP10. That how we will do that is manually we will do. Right? Manually we need to schedule. Right? Only and then also there is one more drawback here. What is the drawback? Only one plan you can schedule for one time. Correct. Only one maintenance plan. Only one maintenance plan can be scheduled at one time. Right. And also there is one more drawback. Let me put it as disadvantages. Okay. Disadvantages. And what is uh, another disadvantage? someone some user manually need to go and schedule a maintenance plan and you need to do that every day correct or every uh one hour each one hour right every day or uh, twice a day correct twice a day user should manually go on manually need to schedule if it is a let us let us think if it is a c h c d if it is a very big plant plant okay if it is a very big maintenance plant there are multiple number of equipments there and uh, each there are let us say in that maintenance plant you have more than uh, 100 number of uh, maintenance plant not even 100 more than 500 number of maintenance plants so user, whoever the user is there, he need to daily go and uh, schedule the maintenance plan, right? So it is not possible because the user cannot plan each, uh, schedule each and every plan manually. It is not even possible. So for this, what SAP has came up? SAP has came up with one transaction known as IP30. Okay, very, very, very important. IP30 is a transaction. So the name of the T code is IP30 and it is known as deadline monitoring. Okay. Deadline monitoring. So what is this IP30? Which means that this is the automatic scheduling. C H C H E D U L N. Automatic scheduling of maintenance plans okay automatically system itself will schedule so how system itself is schedule that is based on the scheduling s c h e d o l i n g the scheduling happens based on a background job okay very very important because uh, in today's world, in the real time, no one will go and, okay, one or two plans, if they want to check, they want to test, right? They'll go to IP10 and they will schedule. But if there are um, multiple plans, multiple maintenance plans, then what uh, any client will do, they will schedule one background job. So what, the, what happens when they schedule a background job? They will give the timing, like, see, for every one hour, for every one hour, the job should should execute should execute in the back end. Okay, in the back end. So what does this mean? This means that every one hour, system itself will run this program. System itself will uh, execute that particular background job. 
okay then what happens we will already include our we should have already include our maintenance plans all the maintenance plans or selected maintenance plans in that job so what will happen system itself will whenever system runs every one hour it will schedule all the maintenance plans which are included in that particular job okay that is how uh, the planning i mean the scheduling will happen no one will go out to ip10 uh, stay one plan each and every plan no one will go and schedule see anyway for our testing purpose uh, since this is a demo client we want to test in the front end we all this just what we were doing we were taking each and every plan and we are going to ip10 and we are scheduling and we are checking we are checking whether the call date and the plan date is coming correctly or not so that we are checking now uh, as per the real time what happened since as i told there are multiple number of plans in any uh, client they will simply go on schedule a background job and they will uh, it will run every one hour daily no no one no need to go and check uh, whether it is running or not whether the plans got scheduled or not nothing everything will system will take care on its own so now we will see this how how to schedule this how to create a background job how to include the plans in the background job and what will happen everything we will see okay so now go to sepi let me log in okay first let us let us take out our maintenance plans okay first let us take out our maintenance plans so what is the t code to see the list of plans ip18 okay ip18 is the t code to see the list of plans okay maintenance plan is amr1 see how many plans are there for us uh how many 1 2 3 4 5 oh 3 4 9 is 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 plans are there. okay eight plans are there uh we will also let's let's uh add few more fields here sort field we will take okay maintenance plan we will include in the report cost center we will include in the report right fine yeah so sort field uh this is boilers sir huh? okay oh, there is one more sort field Me mechanical right one second long text indicator last assembly when is a function abc indicator equipment number equipment rule task list type status main work center last order assembly manager activity type abc indicator let's also take this wbs silver work center division serial number okay no problem let's let take this so what i will do what i will be doing now i will copy this maintenance plans first okay i'll copy this maintenance plans first and I'll paste it somewhere in the excel sheet okay now i am not going to ip10 straight away i'll go to where ip30 okay ip30 so data monitoring for maintenance plans batch input ip10 here what i'll do i will include all these plans here okay in the maintenance plan uh, field i have entered all the maintenance plans whichever i want to schedule right i have copied this i have entered here okay then you can also enter if you have any other uh, parameters known so what is that other parameters like sort field so we know our sort field what is our sort field mechanical till now we gave all the mechanical plans right so you can enter either your plans or you can enter either this mechanical okay because we in every plan we have added our sort field so you know right where we have added i will show you so go to let's simply go to ip02 take any one plan let's say 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347 347
measures the additional data. This one I am saying sort field. Okay. This segregates this segregates uh, whether it is a mechanical plan or whether it is electrical plan or utility plan like that. Okay. So that I have also entered here. And interval for call objects, let us take 180 days. Okay. 180 days. Now what we need to do? We need to create one background. If you execute this, it will get executed. It gets rescheduled. But again, uh, as I told, we want to make it again, run every one hour, right? So in that case, we need to schedule one job. Background job we need to schedule. So what I will do? I will simply save this. Okay, simply save this. And I will create one variant for this. Okay, job. Okay, ZPM underscore job. This is what variant for variant for background job background job AMR the orange that is fine okay save this save then what we need to do we need to schedule no schedule and background job right so for, in order to schedule one background job I need to have the name of the program. So what is the name of the program? So name of the very very important name of the program is Restart 20. See why I have took the program name I will, I will tell you. See uh, in SAP you also know everything is based on the logic and the coding. Correct? So for those logic and codings what sap has did they have given the standard from uh, t codes so because any front uh, end user any user he don't know how to go to the program and how to uh, check you know, from the program and all so, so that is the reason for the end user uh, flexibility what sap did sap has given t codes but in order to schedule the background job you, you need to take the program name okay so sc38 is a t code where you can go and check the coding and all in this program if you see here restart 20 and click on display see the scheduling works based on this logic okay see in sap everything is based on logic only so uh, standard sap has a already they would have entered everything i mean uh, every all the coding standard as per standard they have made this available so just we are using that functionality see this is the code actually if i if you code this this is the code but as a functional consultant there is no need to uh, understand what is there in the code and all happening just uh, this whenever an ababa whenever there is a need for any, any enhancement then ABAP guy will write the logic in this code in this code only okay how you write the logic there are some function uh, this one mm, includes okay there will be some includes in that include he will go and write that logic okay that and all we will discuss uh, what is an include uh, how you will write the logic in the standard program and all we will discuss now this sc38 if you click on ex uh, execute see even even though i go i come i can come to this screen by from two ways one is directly using the ip30 or else i can go to sc38 give the program and execute it will re re return to the same screen okay so now it means that that is the program which we want to use to schedule the background job that is clear now our next target next action is we need to create a background job so what is the t code to create a background job sm36 okay sm36 is the t code sm36 is the t code to create a background job J R O U N D 
background job okay for any not even for plant any any job any job you can go on this create an sm36 okay tico now we are we need to give the job name what is the job name we will give let us say zpm any any description you can take that is not a problem zpm underscore amr1 underscore okay uh, make underscore plan okay this is my name of the background job as soon as you click on enter right what happens see automatically the program will be displayed here if it don't display then you can simply uh, copy and paste that program what is our variant you know right we created one variant what is that this one zpm underscore job correct next click on enter now you click on enter click on check click on save okay now it got as end as end uh, your program is there and your variant is also there right next go to start condition you want to start the program uh, job right you have a new created but you want to start start the job and uh, allow it to run for every one hour daily correct so what is that we need to do we need to click on date and time okay schedule start from today we will start okay from today we will start and uh, time is now 8 27 okay as this is a system time okay it, uh, you should not uh, consider this with the our standard indian time this is the system time 8:27. so let's move it to 30 8 30 okay continue okay and this is a periodic job correct because we are setting some intervals so tick on the periodic job and uh, we will allow this program to run till december sorry january 2022 okay every day it will run every day it will run okay so 30 execute uh, periodic job period values uh, let's let's give it as uh, other period okay uh, start job every hour uh, every daily once we will schedule okay or else daily once we will schedule daily okay daily we have executed okay a daily at 8 30 it will schedule it will run okay next check check this start date is in the past huh? okay so let's put something uh, nine and check start date again is in the past what is this 10 this is different start date is in the past okay let's let's uh, use 14 okay okay from today it will start until january 30 check now check this period values again we will cross check daily it will run okay check save this save this okay again we will cross check this is fine uh, spool is there no spool uh, one second uh, external number program name okay this is fine Our program enter what wait one second you want to really cancel yes this is fine okay yeah now save this okay now what happened we have scheduled the job now where to go and check the job T code is SM37. 
okay sm36 is for creating a job sm37 is to verify and monitor a background job okay background job now i went to sm37 give that program name sorry job name if you don't know the job name also that is fine if you don't know the job name also you can just give the program name restra 20 okay and schedule released my username because i have created right so my username execute see this is not yet released this will release uh, this will be executed once uh, the start time is there no uh, i think to 14 30 we gave no so by the time it will get executed. Let me check what is the time now. One second. Let me check the time now. Yeah. Ah, system time is 1301. Okay. System time is 1301. Uh, let's execute. Let me go to again SM36. I uh, will change that to uh, Wait one second. I will change that to Fourteen thirty we gave no, so let's change this. Read it. Start time. Not changing or what? One second. System go to start time. Oh, what is the time now? So I think fourteen thirty. Let's change this where it is not changing. Edit start time. Oh, it got grayed out here. Okay. So there's no problem. Then uh, by what I'm thinking, by the time I mean uh, at least before nine. If it runs so before nine, it will like two only. Okay, that we can check tomorrow also. The start will it will execute exactly on uh, nine thirty. It will execute exactly on nine thirty. That we can check tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, if we put the back date and check also, we will find out. So what happens? What happens when this particular job will be executed? Then we know right like in here. We have already included our maintenance plans in this particular job. We have already included our maintenance plans. How how we have included our maintenance plans? If you see this, if you go to the variant, okay. If you go to the variant, see. We have 347, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So all these maintenance plans we have already added here. Which means that once the job will be executed. At 9:30, our time 9:30. Whatever the uh, based on the call origin and the scheduling period and the interval of the plan, system itself will execute and create the maintenance orders. No need to go manually and uh, create the maintenance orders. System will execute and create itself. So even in the real case, this is how the maintenance orders will be generating. No one will go and schedule uh, the each and every individual plans uh, one by one. Just they'll simply create on background job and they will put, they'll group some uh, maintenance plans based on the sort field or maintenance plan category or whatever, the grouping criteria. So they will group the maintenance orders and they will schedule the background jobs and leave it. In future, if they want to, if they want to add a few more maintenance plans, okay, they'll simply come here. They will add here. So like this, they will simply go on adding it. There is no limit here. Any, any number of maintenance plans, they can come and add here. And those get scheduled automatically. Okay, that is how uh, the background jobs, background scheduling happens. Okay. I hope uh, you understood. This, uh, once uh, this, yeah. So once this executes, right, once this execute, uh, tomorrow you can check 
uh, how the maintenance plans got scheduled and all. Okay. I think uh, all of our maintenance plans, there are no such orders which are which can be executed by tomorrow itself because everything or our is either it is a months or it is a weeks. There are no such day intervals. But still, I will show you like uh, uh, how this got executed and all. Okay. This is how the background job will be created. Uh, in, even in the real time also. Okay. Uh, now let me stop the recording and uh,